What's going on everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys an update on Kappa and YouTube gaming and how it's going to affect content creators starting very, very soon. Now, thanks so much for watching. If you guys didn't already see my previous video about how Kappa affects YouTube gaming, that happened at the beginning of September when we first learned about it. But since then, we've got a lot of information, especially from YouTube, about what exactly is going to happen. So stick around. I've got some very valuable information that is going to help you guys out as best as we can because we've got we've to ride through this wave, man. It's going to be a tough one. So anyway, that is uh, me talking about Kappa when we first heard about it. But now we head on over here to this link is going to be in the description. I need you guys to watch this video before leaving a comment on my video. So watch this because these guys uh, have done a really good job of putting together the frequently asked questions. So I'm happy with it. it it's great. It defines everything. YouTube is not necessarily the enemy here. A lot of you guys have animosity towards YouTube, but they're just following the law. So I'll give you guys a little bit of history of what COPPA is. So COPPA is the online, the Child Online Privacy Protection Act that says, hey, whatever organization you are, you can't be targeting advertisements towards kids. Okay, so YouTube really didn't follow that. And unfortunately, YouTube got hit with a $150 million fine. And then YouTube CEOs are like, look, you know, we're just not going to ever allow this to happen to us again. We need to comply with the law. So we're going to take it out on any content creator that puts out content that is targeted towards kids. We're going to remove their ads. We're going to remove their suggested features. They're not going to be able to live stream. We're going to take away everything from them so that YouTube doesn't get burnt with another $150 million fine. Okay? Makes sense, right? If you were a business, you'd do the exact same thing. So uh, now what they've done is they've given us a couple tools to start looking into our content and self-reflecting into our channels to see if any of our stuff is going to be kid targeted or of course uh, kid geared towards kid, made for kids, I guess that's what it is. So I'll give you guys a little bit of context of who I am. Now, my name's Abdallah. I've been doing YouTube for over seven years and all of my stuff has been family friendly. I don't swear. I don't do any adult content. I play a lot of Nintendo games and Nintendo games can be construed as kid made, made for kids, right? E for everyone, whatever the ESRB thing is. So when I first heard about Kappa, uh, my YouTube reps have told me that my channel is 70% affected by this. So we need to start looking at what we need to do once COPPA hits in 2020, January 1st. So I got really flustered. I got really frustrated. I, I'm like debating on, you know, should we go to another streaming service and continue um, creating content over there or what? But now that we've got some more tools to look into our stuff, I'm a little bit more at ease and I'll show you guys why in a little bit. So anyway, go give this video a watch. It's really, it's really informative. They even give you guys timestamps because they know <clears throat> that people on YouTube don't want to sit through a full like eight minute video, you know, forbid that. Uh, so they went through and they gave you some timestamps on everything. And not only that, they gave you some more information on setting your audience and determining if your content is made for kids right there. So I'll show you guys that right now. Okay. So a lot of you guys are watching this video thinking, okay, well, I play this game. Am I going to be targeted for it? Or I upload this kind of content. Is that made for kids? Don't ask me that. You know your content better than I do. So go through, click on this, or you guys can do this checklist with me. So this is going to be the, uh, according to FTC, uh, this is exactly what made for kids is. Subject matter of the video. Is it educational content for preschoolers, for example? Um, is it like educational? Is it targeted for kids, made for kids? Whether or not children are your intended audience for the video. Okay, ask yourself that. Whether or not the video contains child actors or models, ask yourself. Whether or not the video contains characters, celebrities, or toys that appeal to children, including animated characters or cartoon figures. It's a little bit of a gray area, especially for me. I play Mario games, and Mario is E for everyone. But is that necessarily made for kids? I don't think so. If you, if you take Mario and you take Elmo, I think one of them is a little bit more made for kids than the other one is, just saying. So if you're a video or if you're a content creator that like focuses on little puppets and whatnot, then you need to you need to uh, reflect onto that. Whether the language of the video is intended for children to understand, you talk slowly and use very easy words. Or whether or not the video includes activities that appeal to children, such as play acting, simple songs, games, or early education. All right. Whether or not the video includes songs, stories, or poems for children, and any other information. So. If you answered yes to like more than one of those things, 
your content is made for kids, all right? That's just what it is. There's no if and buts about it. Now setting your channel's audience. Now this is exactly what I'm gonna show you guys how to do. So let's jump on in over there and we're gonna do it. So uh, if you guys see your YouTube studio over here, you click on the YouTube studio beta, there's going to be an option called settings. It's right over here. You guys see where my mouse cursor is? It's right underneath, uh, pretty much on the sidebar. Okay, once you click on settings, you're gonna go over to, once this loads up, you're gonna go over to the uh, channel area, right over here, this channel side. You're gonna go over to advanced settings. And then right over here on advanced settings, you got three options that you will need to classify yourself as. Do you wanna set your channel as made for kids? Okay, do you want to do that? Now, yes, set this channel as made for kids. I always upload content that's made for kids. Got it. That's essentially like the nail in the coffin for your channel, all right? No, set this channel is not made for kids. I never upload content that's made for kids. Or I want to review this setting for every video. Maybe you have some videos that are, ma that are made for kids and some that aren't. So then you'd be in this third classification. Now, I hear you guys. What if you guys, uh, what if you guys are like, all right, well, I mean, I do some toy unboxing videos and I mean, it's not made for kids, it's made for the parents. So, I mean, that's technically not it. So then you go over here and you click no. Here's the thing, right? YouTube is following the law. If you decide to lie or beat around the bush about your content, YouTube will find out and they will take legal action against you. Heck, I'd do it. If I have a, a multi-billion dollar company such as YouTube and we got some little liars over here lying about their content and ruining it for, for, ruining it for everyone else, you would bet I'd take legal action against them. So that's exactly what's gonna happen. So make sure that you guys are absolutely 100% sure that this is your channel. You know your channel best, okay? Don't even ask in the comment section. Do not even ask. So anyway, now, now that you have set your default guidelines, there's a couple things that you do need to know. Uh, I do a lot of live streaming on YouTube for YouTube gaming. Uh, you guys can see over here that if you take a look, uh, I think I could exit out of here. I'm gonna save this. If you go over to your live streaming dashboard, you click on edit, uh, you will have to say, regardless of if your channel is flagged not for kids, for every single live stream, you need to make sure that you click on no, it's not made for kids or yes, if it is, because that's also following the law, all right? So make sure you do that. Okay, so now you guys might be wondering, hey, Abdallah, like what's the deal with all the videos? How do I know if my videos are gonna be flagged by the machine learning algorithm that Lauren talked about in the official YouTube creators video? I'll show you. So it's really not that well built. Uh, go figure for YouTube pushing something out that's not completely uh, built yet. But as you guys can see over here, uh, you're going to see this very small gray text that says made for kids set by YouTube. You guys remember the adpocalypse where we had the yellow dollar signs all over the place and it wasn't advertiser friendly, all that stuff. No, this one's like super subtle. And I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe YouTube just wants you to not pay attention that this video is potentially going to be demonetized, not pushed out towards anyone's um, recommended. It's not going to be added to any playlist for watch later. And your video is essentially going to die. Maybe they just want that to happen. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But anyway, so you can see over here that this is going to be made for kids. And this one is flagged by YouTube themselves. Now, you guys might be wondering, hey, if I already defaulted my entire channel as not made for kids, like why am I getting flagged on this? Well, that's just how YouTube is right now. It's, it's a broken system. And we're gonna give feedback at the end of the video of what we'd like to see happen as far as the new changes go. So just make sure that you guys click over here. Is this video made for kids or not? You click yes or no. Now, here's the reason, uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of context. This video is a Luigi's Mansion 3 full game walkthrough uh, with no commentary, right over here, with no commentary at all. That means that this video, this non-commentary video did get flagged by the algorithm saying, hey, this is made for kids. Now, I know a lot of content creators out there are non-commentary channels, so good luck. Go through and take a look at all your videos and see exactly which one of these guys are gonna be flagged as made for kids. Now, am I saying that all non-commentary channels are now going to potentially be flagged? No, I'm not saying that. Is there a high chance that they will? Yeah, there probably is. It's up to you guys. You guys know your content better than I do to go through and double check that. So here's why I would say that this video is not made for kids. Yes, it's Luigi's Mansion. It's cute. There's kid characters in there. I mean, it, it's not appealing to kids. At least I don't think so. But you go over here and you take a look at another one of my videos where I went through Luigi's Mansion, full game, 100% walkthrough, the exact same kind of content, right? But... I had myself 
on webcam in the lower corner like this, interacting with the audience, talking, and giving my live feedback while playing it. But you guys can see over here that this over here does not have the automated generated flagged by kids or for kids. So that's interesting. And of course you guys can see also that it's, uh, no, it's not made for kids. I clicked that there. So now, I hear you guys asking in the comments, well, what's the dispute process like? Well, the dispute process is very suboptimal. By all means, it is. You would think that there would be a, like a drop down menu over here that says, hey, dispute, kind of like copyright is, right? Dispute a claim. Then you go into it, you do your digital signature, you tell why it's not, uh, it's disputed. There's a whole built in system for content ID or copyright claims, but this is an unfinished product. We're only getting a small taste of what's to come and we need this changed big time. So here's what you do to dispute your video. Click on send feedback. Uh, right over here, you see where my mouse is. It's right underneath uh, what's new in settings. So click on send feedback, okay? Now, once you have the area over here, let this load up, do your screenshot. It's gonna load up a screenshot over there in a minute, I hope. Um, again, see this process is not that great. Click to highlight or hide info. Okay, so this like totally glitched out on me. Way, way to go YouTube. Here we go, send feedback again. Screenshot loading. Wow, you see this process, how, how broken this is? This should not be the feedback process and this should not be the appeals process at all. All right, well, maybe I need to zoom out a little bit. Let me zoom out. I'm gonna zoom out one more time. I'm gonna click on send feedback. Screenshot loading. Yep. Okay. Wow. Right in the middle of recording to prove a point. Just to prove a point, YouTube. Pushing out unfinished product on us. All right, so anyway, long story short, if it loads on your side, you go to send feedback, right? Then you go over here, and if you're able to load it up, and it allows you to send feedback on that video, you got a spot that says describe your issue or share your idea, okay? Uh, you can go over here. This is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna type out, even though my channel has been set to not made for kids, this video is flagged by YouTube as the opposite. I know that this video is not targeting towards kids. Please manually review this to align with all of my other <clears throat> not made for kids content. Thanks. You can indeed uh, include the screenshot if you want to, but other than that, you can just send the feedback according. So, so you would click on send and that's the full dispute process. That's kind of lame. That's super lame. So uh, yeah, that, that's exactly how you do that. And whenever you submit the feedback, all it says on the bottom of the screen is thanks for sharing your feedback. There's no follow-up. There's no seeing what exactly is going to happen with the video or exactly what's gonna happen at the end of the day. Like you just submit this and it just goes off to the internet, right? It goes off into someone's inbox at YouTube and maybe they'll take a look at it. Okay, so this is not built out for content creators at all. Okay, so one more thing is, hey Abdallah, how do I find out all of my videos? I wanna, I got like 2000 videos on my channel. I wanna find out how many of these guys are actually affected and flagged by the machine learning, just like this video here, right? How do I do that really quickly? You take a look at my channel over here. I've been doing content for years and you can go ahead and do rows per page by 50. Okay, rows per page by 50, and you can scroll down and see what else is there. So you can see I've got another one over here. It's really subtle, it's hard to see if you're like squinting even. Made for kids by YouTube. This is a non-commentary, Yokai Watch 1, all cutscenes, full movie HD, all right? It was me not talking about anything. I compiled all the cutscenes for people to watch and that got flagged as for kids. And of course, once you go to the very bottom, that's really all you can do. It shows over here that I got 218 pages worth of 50 videos. You, YouTube, are going to expect us, content creators, to sift through 218, whatever many pages you guys have, in order to find this little subtle thing. And YouTube did not build out, uh, build out a filter for anything like this, nothing. So you can filter by views, visibility, monetization, copyright claims, you can filter all that stuff, but it's not ever going to be a filter that says made for kids flagged. We need that, are you kidding me? I don't have like five days to go through 218 pages. Like what the heck is going on? And like, look, I can't even, I can't even choose which page I wanna go on. Like this is not even built out correctly. This is like a YouTube studio beta. Why are they pushing that on us? Like I wanna go, like what happens if I wanna do 10 pages per day, right? So, okay, I'm gonna do pages one through 10 today. Maybe I'll do 
20 pages tomorrow, I'm gonna have to manually click on forward, 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 forward every single time until I'm over here? Get out of here. No way, man. Anyway, um, so that's really, that's really it, man. So when you take a look at it, this video, I taught you guys, I taught you guys everything you need to know about what's going on in the COPA world, right? Or COPA, whatever you wanna call it, I don't honestly care. Um, I told you guys what's going on. I gave you this video link that you guys can watch it. And um, we showed you guys how to make your channel completely marked as for kids or not for kids, okay? Once you've already done that. Now there's three things that we want YouTube to fix in order to help out content creators like myself. And this is where it really resonates, okay? We need to fix the ability to filter affected videos, okay? I've got so many different pages of videos. I wanna be able to click filter, go to flagged videos. I want that showing up so that I can go over there and mass click on all of them and then dispute every single one, okay? I wanna be able to do that. Number two, we I didn't even mention this, but number two, we didn't even mention how a content creator is gonna get notified whether or not your video gets flagged as made for kids. That was not in Lauren's video over here at all. If it's anything like copyright claims, dude, the moment that I'm gonna play a video and someone wants to copyright claim it due to music, I will get an instant email. I will get a notification on my phone. I, it'll be so instantaneous that I can go into my YouTube studio, dispute the claim, go on, so forth. This, we don't know anything. It's just gonna be like a shadow underneath the radar of, oh, hey, you know what? This awesome video that you did five months ago now just got uh, four kids claimed, right? And then you don't even, you're none the wiser unless you're going through 218 uh, like pages of your channel every single day. Like how are we gonna be notified? That's so bad and that needs to get fixed. And then our last one is the dispute process. The dispute process needs to take a page from copyright content ID. Um, where you can see a dispute. See what exactly got flagged from it. Um, if it was the algorithm, the machine learning, then we need to find a way of following up with that and saying, hey, you know what? You may have flagged my video, but I don't agree with it. And here's why. And then you should be able to follow up with that to see what kind of answer YouTube gives off of that particular flag. Now, taking a step further, if it's he said, she said, I'm saying my content is not kid friendly or sorry, it's not kid targeted. YouTube algorithm says it is. I go over here and I say, no, it's not. Look at it again. And then YouTube says, sorry, no, it is. Like, where is, where is the claim? Where's like the appeals process? Like, where does this stop? Is it just going to be big brother YouTube saying, hey, you know what? We think it is, so sorry, ha ha, you lose. Or is there gonna be some sort of appeals process that happens with it? Like getting it under manual review. So we need to figure that out. Anyway, that's enough me talking about COPPA. Um, as you guys can see over here, the video is great. Go ahead and watch it. Learn everything you can about it. If you guys are content creators, uh, then you need to take heed of this stuff because all the changes are gonna be happening in 2020, January 1st, when everything gets loaded out. I'm giving YouTube the benefit of a doubt that they will make these changes in order to get content creators the tools that they need in order to take a look at what they have on their channel that is affected by it. So... That being said, if you're not a content creator, share this video with a content creator that you personally care about. If you don't care about content creators and you don't wanna share the video, whatever, that's on you. But we need to get this message out there to people because if we don't get even more shares on this video, then YouTube's not gonna know all the feedback that we're trying to get here. Like what the heck's going on? It's scary, man. It's scary. It's really scary. I mean, people make their livings off of YouTube. YouTube is my full-time gig. If you're going to come over here and say that my channel is 70% affected by COPPA regulation because what? I play Mario games? Then you got another thing coming, man, because that is not cool. If you cannot group me in the same group as someone who makes nursery rhyme videos, like what the heck? Anyway, uh, I'm getting a little bit too emotional for this. I want to look forward to all of your comments in the comment section below. Again, watch this video before commenting so I don't get full of uh, comments of like, hey, uh, I do this on my channel, you know. I'm, I'm not your consultant, no. I wanna hear what you guys have to say and what you think about COPPA. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one, thanks.